Hey guys, today we're going to talk about why you should never pre-order Planeswalkers. Caldas is a very good example of what happens to prices. After more supply comes... And essentially, this is the story of every single Planeswalker except for Elspeth, uh, Jace, and maybe one or two I'm missing. But what happens is it's hyped up. All the Planeswalkers are very hyped. Trondra began at $60, she's now about $40, so she lost $20 of value. And the other Planeswalker to drop most is actually Sir Haley Rai. And she started at $29 and $30 almost, and she's at $12. Today's prices are the all-time current lows for all four Planeswalkers in the block. It used to be planeswalkers were something special and you would see them one or two, you know, two or three in a block. Now we're seeing four and five. Origins had five of them and Kaladesh has four of them. So they're not as mythic, if you will, as they used to be. And it kind of dilutes from the, uh, oh cool, I pulled a planeswalker. So now we have Dovin Bond, which also went down about 10 plus dollars. It is... I don't know, it's hard for me to look at a two-colored Planeswalker without understanding what the meta would be and saying that it's going to keep its pre-release price. So there's always a ton of hype. People are hyping up the cards, the people who write articles, who own stores. They want you to buy the cards at the very, very overpriced rate on, under the you know excitement that you need a card right now. Although, honestly, they don't ship it until, like, later. And then you buy the card, and it just tanks in price. And this is the story of every single... 99% oh, of pre-orders is like that. Lastly, we have Nissa Vital Force, which has gone down the least amount. She has gone down a little under $10, from $27 to $18. She's holding steady at $18, but I... Expect that should the Pro Tour happen, I know a lot of you believe the Pro Tour is going to spike some cards. It will, but it's not going to make up for the majority of cards just tanking in price. Yes, you have one or two or maybe at most four cards that spike up in price from the new set. But then you have the entire rest of the set that's just tanking like crazy. So, um, do you agree? Do you disagree? Did you pre-order any of these? Do you, maybe you pre-order them. Do you pull any of these at pre-release. Remember, if you pull them in pre-release, you gotta get rid of them because that is likely the highest value for the card and the highest excitement. And it's actually very easy to trade them uh, at pre-release as opposed to like right now. I remember when Omnixilis was pulled in Battle for Zendikar pre-release and my friend pulled like a foil one and he wanted to keep it. Well, that didn't turn out so well for him. Anyway, bye guys.